We're almost to the end of the semester. Your sales speech. Can you believe it? <sighs> Take a good, long, deep breath and congratulate yourself for coming this far, for making it. Now this speech, this is the best. Now, a lot of classes save the hardest work for the end, but you know what? You've already done the hardest work. The persuasive speech with visual aid was that. I like to sort of cruise an easier way into the end of the semester with the sales speech. Here are some sample sales speech to tell you about what's going on. This particular is my favorite. You'll definitely want to make sure that you watch this one. This one's also pretty good. Now, some of these are really high energy and that's great. Others, not so much. That's also fine. But some great examples of how to deliver your speech. And now your sales speech with visual aid. It's two to three minutes, just two to three minutes. So not nearly as long as your persuasive speech. But you'll also notice that it's a little bit tighter of a turnaround. You just have a 60 second window in order to get it in. So I do make it just a tiny little bit harder. One visual aid minimum but no sources. Complete details are in the speech packet, of course. So let's take a look. All right, the sales speech with visual aid is a persuasive speech. You are persuading your audience. Specifically, you are selling a product or service to your classmates. Two to three minutes, one visual aid, no sources, and worth just 100 points. It's informative, your speech, and that you're giving people information about your product or service, how to purchase it, etc. But it's also persuasive. You're providing a clear call to action, understanding how much the product costs and how and where they can purchase it. Now, my roommate actually calls this ethical sales because he had a student sell a cheating service. I'm not going to say that it needs to be ethical sales, but you can't sell yourself or someone else. You can't sell anything illegal in the state of North Carolina. Otherwise, there's no restrictions on the topic. Again, not yourself or someone else because it's illegal to own a human and anything else that's illegal in North Carolina, you cannot sell. You can sell a service that you provide, but not your physical body, because again, slavery and prostitution are illegal. You can also invent a product that doesn't actually exist. That's fine too. You do need to show at least one visual aid during your speech. It can be any type of visual aid, but again, probably the product is something that you'd want to show. If you have multiple images, you'll want to make sure you have multiple poster boards or multiple slides so that everything isn't crammed all together. And if you're using PowerPoint, again, remember to focus on images rather than text. You still have an outline. You know that by now. So here is your speech, sales speech with visual aid evaluation form. Your preparation outline, introduction, structure, they're all worth just 10 points. We're at the end of the semester. That should be old hat by now. Delivery is worth 40 points because now's the type where you want to focus on your delivery and how you're delivering your speeches. Again, the others, visual aids, online presentation and conclusion, they're all worth just 10 points. So the bulk of the speech is delivery, but that's okay. You've been practicing your delivery for weeks now. You're gonna do just fine. Here is a sample speech with VA preparation outline. This is just, just a skeleton, if you will. Your specific purpose is to persuade my audience to purchase my product. Thesis statement, my product is awesome and you should buy it. You want to start with the attention getter. Choose a powerful, captivating aspect of your product and describe a scenario in which the product might be needed. Your thesis is briefly telling your audience about your product and how it will impact their lives. And then preview, list the main points that you address. In the first part of the body, your main point one, you want to establish a need for the product. Describe the personal or societal need for the product and then maybe show it through a visual aid. Talk about the problems that are being addressed. One thing I like to say is if you're presenting a speech and you say, you know, what happens if you need to plug in a mouse but you already have two things that are already plugged into the computer and you don't know what to do and you need a mouse, 
Well, do I have a deal for you? This is a little thing that I use in order to make the mouse work. As you can tell, I got angry when I unplugged it, so I will just plug it back in. If you can say at any point, do I have a deal for you? You just let me show you what it is. That's perfect. You want to be a salesperson in this speech. Talk about a problem that you might have and how your product, your service is the perfect solution. Then you want to move into your second point, an explanation of the product itself. What is it made of? What are its specific uses? How does it overcome the problems? How is it the greatest problem solver in the world? And then does it come in different sizes, flavors, colors, etc.? In your third point, you want to have your call to action. Tell your audience where to purchase your product and how much it costs. Because really, that's all selling is. Telling people how much it is and where they can buy it. You can show me any product whatsoever, but I kind of need to know how much it costs. Is that a $10 dress or is it a $1,000 dress? Because that really influences my decision. Can I buy it online? Do I have to go to the store? Is it only available in a specific store in a specific area that I'm not near? Tell your audience where to buy it and how much it costs. And then tell your audience to buy it. You're selling a product. In your conclusion, you want to restate your three main points highlight the thesis and how it was fulfilled by your product, your miracle solution, and then reinforce the call to action. Refer back to your attention getter and tell your audience to purchase the product. You're selling after all. So here are some example speeches. This is a great speech, persuading audiences members to buy a Thai peekaboo phone holder. If you ever watching a video or a movie on your phone and it's like, oh, you gotta hold it. And, oh, and, uh, wouldn't it be great if you had something that just sort of held your phone for you? Do I have a deal for you? Introducing the Thai peekaboo phone holder that we'll pretend that I'm holding right now. A great speech talking about, in the first point, people don't like holding their phones the whole time while they're watching. Second point, this product is a phone holder and it's cute. Oh my gosh, it's a stuffed animal. It prevents bad body posture. There's, you can get a penguin, you can get a monkey. It's awesome. I bet you want to know where you can buy it. You can buy it at Walmart, Amazon, Target. It's five to eight bucks. It's awesome. You should buy it. It's adorable. Today I talked about the Thai peekaboo phone holders. It's affordable. It's simple to use, it's creative, and ah, your neck's not gonna hurt from holding your dang phone all day. Next time you watch a video on your phone, think about how much easier it would be. Again, very, very persuasive speech. This is a short, sweet, little persuasive speech selling a product that is legal in the state of North Carolina. And then you're done with this class.